Hi everybody, uh, welcome back. Uh, this is my second video. This one's gonna be a little bit different. Um, last one was a little bit like a vlog type of introduction. This one, unfortunately, where I went to, I didn't get to vlog. Uh, so I've just got a bit of beautiful footage that you maybe like to see and yeah, uh, let me get into it. Just to tell you, I think a lot of people can see my eye is yellow. I did not, uh, or the outside is yellow. Uh, no one punched me, so don't worry about that. Uh, I just came back from the doctor. Um, I actually have had something in my eye and they put this like yellow stuff in to kind of like paralyze your eye so yeah sorry about my eye next time it should be good before quarantine um, me and my family we decided to go up to Lesotho Lesotho is actually a country inside South Africa very beautiful country as well um, usually in winter it has a lot of snow and different types of climates it's very nice it's in the mountains and yeah, so we, once we went up there, like I said, we went before the lockdown in South Africa. We got to the Kachasnek, we went to Kachasnek uh, border. I'll write how you spell that there. I know it's quite uh, confusing and maybe hard to pronounce. Um, yeah, I live in Matetiela, which is uh, also put there where it is. It takes about 40 minutes uh, with my dad driving. He drives pretty fast, so yeah. Um, I would recommend that you take a four by four car or pick up and yeah it would be pretty good once we got there it takes about 40 it takes about two and a half hours to the Maletsvenyani waterfall uh, which is where our destination was so yeah on our way there perfectly it was going well everything was fantastic stopped at the uh, Senkuyani which is actually the smaller river of the Senku Senku and then the Senkuyani means the small Senku obviously um, yeah, we had a beautiful lunch there with my family. Um, I actually he lost my drone signal. I did not know. Being so high up in altitude, uh, we lost my drone with all the signals. And like I'll see, you'll see here in the video, <laughs> I'm kind of lost. The birds are attacking it. It's quite funny, but also scary for my sake because I was kind of scared about my drone getting lost. Um, yeah, and basically on our way there after lunch, we carried on towards um, the Maletsuyani uh, Falls which uh, yeah it was absolutely amazing in winter and it uh, does freeze over so you might actually see the falls as like icicles but uh, unfortunately a lot of people do go there sometimes and the falls aren't rushing over or they either dry or it's winter and you see icicles it's actually amazing uh, all three ways and uh, luckily when we got there it was full and going over Amazing sight to see, so I definitely recommend you go there. Um, yeah, and we met this uh, very nice guy there. He had his horse, he took pictures, he's a very friendly guy. What's your horse's name? Kaburi. Kaburi. Kaburi, what does that mean? Is he fast? Yeah. Fast? Yes. Um, yeah, he, like I say, he will take pictures of you and your family, whoever you're with. Beautiful place to go and yeah, like I say, very friendly as well. We went to, we wanted to go look for drinks, uh, me and my dad, we like to have a, a beer or two. So we went to go have uh, the Maluti, the special Maluti beer, which is made in Lesotho. Actually quite a tasty beer. Recommend you definitely taste that out. Um, we went to the Duck and Donkey. I'm sorry I didn't take a lot of pictures around the duck and donkey uh, like I say it was a little bit of confusion I wish I actually could have shown you the atmosphere around there there's actually a lot of like donkeys and horses and all going across the river there and it's a beautiful scenery but there's obviously a lot of websites about it I'll actually put the link down below where it is so you can actually phone in but unfortunately we could not have um, like a semi uh, supper or dinner because of the lockdown so they had actually closed the restaurant but we were allowed to have a few drinks which was quite nice we had some cold meats so we just obviously ate whatever we had for lunch earlier the lady that we met there as well that's running the place is also so friendly and so like uh, warming so definitely give uh, the duck and donkey a look and yeah, I'm sure you'll have a good time there after that straight after we had a few drinks we actually headed back to Kachasnek 
obviously because we have to get there close at a certain time I think it is at 8 p.m. so make sure if you go there for a day time you get out before 8 p.m. or before you come in make sure you extend your visa for a night stay or two night stays or however you however long you're planning on staying so yeah I flew the drone for the last time just to get a little bit more footage of the river um, I actually didn't know this but uh, I saw that the I went uh, flew exactly directly on top of where the Senkwenyani meets the Orange River and I'm sure if you've lived in South Africa or if you've been to South Africa or know anything about Africa um, the Orange River is actually a very well-known river it's one of the I think one of the seven biggest rivers in Africa I'm not too sure about that so don't quote me on that but it is a massive river and it's actually beautiful footage where you can actually see the Senguayani which is brown and it goes straight into the orange and you can actually see them mixing uh, I will show you right there in the video you can see them actually mixing in color so yeah and on my way back you can see I'm flying back and we actually met some kids and they were just so happy to see us they've obviously some of them have never seen a drone before and when they saw us they were so happy and you can see in the footage here as I come back how happy they are and yeah we shared a few words with each other they were speaking a little bit of English so it was always just nice just to uh, you know exchange a bit of cultures so yeah after that got back to Gracias Neck perfectly on time and yeah I hope you liked it please uh, leave some comments please like uh, I would like uh, any you know criticism or just some things that you could actually leave that are going to help me and yeah it's open to anyone please I promise you right now the videos are, are going to get a lot better like I say I'm going to take some while I'm here in South Africa and I am a little bit limited because we're on lockdown but once we're out of lockdown I'm sure to put some good content on as well oh and yeah hello okay so and from me and my little dog here her name's Riley Riles can you see the camera there can you see the camera hey Riley okay okay yeah so from us and uh, thank you so much and see you again next time bye bye Riley wave wave wave, wave.